Hi, I'm Peter, and this video is about Headlight lenses sanding and polishing Glass, not polycarbonate This, what you see here, is my first try and I call it a success This is how it looked before In this video, I will do the other side which looks like this now and it's gonna be even better than the first one and then you will see This is a Volvo S70 headlight lens my V70 lenses look much better and they have about 500,000 kilometers, about 350,000 miles. I would guess this headlight has seen about 1 million high-speed kilometers or 600,000 miles, but I'm going to save it. What do you need for this sacred mission? I'm not going to use any special tool, like sanding and polishing machine, because I don't want anyone to buy a power tool just for this job. But you probably have a drill at home or you can borrow it from someone microfiber towels, some glass cleaning material, water, and this was the easy part. The hard part is the sanding polishing stuff. First I went to a local store which sells these kind of things, sanding paper and stuff. I bought the sanding papers and started to work. There was some progress, but then nothing. The sanding paper stopped working as sanding paper. Well, I'm not an expert, but I thought that the sanding paper is not good enough for this job. It's good for wood and metal, but glass is in a different league. So I changed tactic. I started to look for sanding material designed for glass. And I found a company near me which sells this kind of stuff. There is no sponsoration in this video, but I'm open to it. The company which makes the good stuff is called Mirka. It's a Finnish company dedicated to finish. You know, like surface finish. It's their pan, I'm just coating it. But I love it. If you are in Hungary, you can buy their products from Novia Kafte. They are in Halastelek. I put a link in the description. Still no sponsoration, still open to it. So I went to this company and I told them what I want to do. And they gave me everything for about 50 euros. I was quite happy. It's all Velcro stuff. I got a 180 grit sanding net. It's called Abranet. I got sanding pads from 360 grit to 3000 grit in five steps. They are called Abralon. I got glass polishing paste. It's called Polarshine E3 and the pad for the glass polishing paste. You also need an adapter for your drill. It's a 70 mm or 3 inch adapter. I just got it with another polishing kit, which is designed for polycarbonate headlights. And I'm gonna make a video about that too. So in short, what you need? A drill. Mine is fixed 2500 rotation per minute. It's pretty common, but they recommend 1000-1500 RPM. Microfiber towel, a lot of it. Glass cleaner, water for the sanding the sanding material, polishing paste designed for glass, an adapter for your drill, a place where you can put down your glass properly, protective glasses, and most importantly, a good mask. I also bought it together with the sanding stuff. Silicosis is not a joke, protect your lungs. Let's start the sanding. First I put the 180 grit abrasive net on. This was the longest part of the job. I had to sand down a lot of material because I wanted all the images to disappear. With the first glass I wasn't so brave. The sanding pads doesn't really take off material. It's the net what does most of the job. This part took about 40-50 minutes. A lot of this time is waiting for it to cool down. There is a lot of heat produced during the sanding, but the glass has to stay relatively cold. You can see the dust coming off. That's why you need the protection. Those are tiny glass particles, and if they get into your lungs, they will never get out. They are going to cause continuous inflammation and then slow, painful death. Very slow. Wear protective equipment. After every image disappeared what I wanted, I switched to the sanding pads. I started with 360 and went up to 3000. Each step took about 5 minutes. So 360, 500, 600, 1000, 2000, 3000. That's total. 30 minutes. I wet sanded it so I didn't have to wait for the cooling this time. It already looked really cool with the 2-3000 sanding pad. But now I switched to the final step, the glass polishing compound, which I spent about 10 minutes with. And it's done. It even looks better than the first one. You see how good it looks. It's really great. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm making more. If you would like to support my work, like, subscribe, 
and check the things all over the internet. There are 3D models on Cuts 3D, car themed merch on Redbubble, and 3D printed products on eBay. Everything is in the description. See you around.